Hi. Hey, today's video is going to be a little bit different with all the craziness in the world. Not doing a lot of traveling, so there's not going to be much in the way of travel videos, and I have nothing to review. So we're going to be making face masks, medical face masks, for our local hospital. And this is what they're going to look like. You can see they're nice and pleated. Obviously, they're not all going to be in that same color, but this is what our project is today. And we're go <laughs> I'm going to try to learn how to sew them to show you that it's not all that difficult. We'll see how that turns out. Have a template. It's a little bit bright on here, so it might not be showing up, but we have a template to follow. And by the way, there will be an article uh, on our website with a PDF of this so that if you want to, you can download it and print it out yourself. And I'll put a link to that up in one of the corners. And uh, so, yeah, let's get into this. All right. One of the things that, well, what we did is we went to the local Joann's Fabric and bought quilting I don't want to call them squares, quilting rectangles. And they come in a variety of different colors, shades, patterns, what have you. Also, you're going to need some elastic for the earpieces. And, of course, you're going to want to have a, a measuring tape for that. And all of this stuff will be, I'll be a little bit more uh, direct in the show notes. So, Right now, I'm being a little bit loosey-goosey, but I'll have the actual dimensions. Obviously, you're going to need a scissor. So what do we do? First, so what you're going to want to do once you get your fabric home is you're going to want to wash it first and then make sure that it's dry. Bring it to, you know, take it to your ironing board, make it nice and flat and crisp and everything. I'm not going to show you doing that. I think you can iron. <laughs> So, iron those guys, and I was just corrected. These pieces of fabric don't come this size already. You're going to have to, to cut it to size, and again, that's on the template. Nine and a half by seven rectangles. I thought it came this way. Take your two pieces of fabric, you're going to want to put the more colorful sides in. That'll, that's going to be your exterior eventually. So the two dull sides are facing out. Make sure that you line the two pieces of fabric up as best you can. It won't be really, really accurate. And then you're going to want to do, this is a quarter inch around. That's what the template says. We'll see if I can do it that accurately. Here we go. So, have everything lined up here, putting down the pressure foot. Okay, see there's this little gadget here for tying a knot? Yeah. Okay, you're going to take a few little uh, stitches forward, you're going to press that down, it'll go backward, and then you're going to let it go, and it'll go forward again, and that sort of seals the end. Okay, here we go. Nice and slow. Okay, now push down, oh, push it down, and keep it down, go backwards, okay, that's enough, no, or more than enough, now you're going to go forward again, all the way to the end. Now, I didn't do a very straight job on that. I, I thought I was doing fine. <sighs> it's taken me a while. I, I cut out some of it um, to do the two long sides. Now I'm going to go and Turn it inside out, or actually right side out. 
which is kind of difficult with my size hands. Okay, there we have that. And I'm going to iron it here so it kind of lays flat. Next step is to take the two ends and turn them in about a quarter of an inch, like I said on the template. So right now I'm in the process of folding the pleats. And I have to be honest, this is, for me, the worst part of this. You need to measure from the corner in an inch and a half and then fold back the fabric half inch. I think I got close to a half inch. It's probably not going to be exact. Um, elastic for the earpieces. Here's what you've got so far. We've pinned both ends where the pleats are. It's going to look a little bit nicer than this when it's done. It's going to be nice and sharp. Turned out pretty well. Now we're going to take the elastic seven and a half inch pieces and we're going to stitch them in to each corner. You're going to want to take your elastic and slide it between the two, the front and the back cover, pin it in place. Now remember you're going to make a half, excuse me, a quarter inch seam along here. So make sure that your uh, elastic is inserted in there more than a quarter of an inch or it won't get sewn in. Okay, here we go. Quarter of an inch, removing the pin, pressure foot's going down, moving forward, then we're backward, and then forward again. Take the pins out as you're going along. Here we go. Okay, and now we're going to put the other elastic piece in. Now, to the iron again. Well, folks, this is my first attempt. Now, I will be totally frank. This is not something that I would attempt by myself having never used a sewing machine or anything. But if you've got somebody who's done it before to help you out, it wouldn't take that long to get relatively adept at this. Spread it out a little bit. Hook it over your ears. You know, if you really want to do something to help out in these crazy times, this is a relatively inexpensive thing you can do. You're probably locked up in your house anyway, or close to it. Why not get involved and do a little something until the whole mess is straightened out where hospitals can get the appropriate uh, gear that they should be using and not have to rely on us to donate things like this. Thanks so much for watching. I know it was a little bit different than our usual, but it's a worthy thing. Here I'm talking through the mask and I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.